Shalom, beloved. It's a word. I've spoken to some people, and one of the things I want to talk about is spiritual lifeguards. Spiritual lifeguards, beloved. Some of you are helping others, and just like a physical lifeguard, being a spiritual lifeguard, you warn people, you protect them, you patrol to try to aid and assist where you are needed. Physical lifeguards wear the color red so that they can be easily seen when they have to go out and help those that are drowning. Spiritual lifeguards, that anointing is on you so you can be easily recognized. Now, you're going out in the deep, but some of you are dealing with people that have swam too far. They would not listen to you. And you, just like in the book of 2 Timothy, you got to remember that in the last days, perilous times will come. You go and you try to save this person. There are other people in the water listening to you as well. The other ones that are listening to you, any guide you give, anointed by the word of the Most High, they're listening to get to safety, to reach that shore, that safe shore. But the other one, no matter what you said, they would not listen to you. And they swam further and further out into bad situations, listening to people who they knew they shouldn't have listened to, going into places and spaces they should not have been. They went out into the deep, no matter what you said, calling them to come back. You finally reach them as they begin to drown. And what you find out is they start pulling you under. One of the things as a lifeguard, when the person won't listen to you and they start grabbing you by the head and taking you down through too many troubles, through too many arguments, through negativity, through disagreements, they are draining you of the strength, first of all, to stay above the water. They're draining you to the point you are so busy trying to save them, you're about to die yourself. The people that were listening to you, you have stopped dealing or giving time and attention to them because this one person who has a made-up mind, they're proud, they're disobedient, they're unthankful. They are false accusers, just like it's telling you in 2 Timothy chapter 3. There are people in your life, and some of us have a hard time swimming away because they're family members, they're friends, their girlfriends, boyfriends, their husbands, their wives, that they have made it up in their mind. They're going to be hard-headed. They don't care. They don't want to listen. They don't want to hear sound doctrine anymore. And they got you the way you about to drown with them. And the people you were helping, the people who were listening, the work you were doing is being neglected. You can't even take care of yourself at this point if you stay out there too long in the deep with them. In the regard of a lifeguard, you got to swim away. You got to swim away. Let them go. You got to let them go. Go back. Save the ones that are listening. Gather your strength. Save those that were listening. Get them to show. At that point, that one that done bubbled and went under. Okay. You have to go back if you can. And you save them with fear. Just like the Bible says, pulling them out of the fire, you're pulling them out of the water. Some people, you got to let them go under to where they become unconscious, where you can get them to shore and then resuscitate them. But you do not let your whole household, your life, and everything you got going on be destroyed behind somebody who won't listen no matter what you say. And while you're loving them, because I'm speaking to this person, you got all this love for them. Your heart, you got to be careful, can betray you. 
Above all things, protect your heart, for out of it flow the very issues of life. If you don't protect yourself, instead of you being the lifeguard that's guarding life, you're going to not only lose your life, their life is going to be lost. All the other people that are listening to you are now abandoned because you swam after one who was determined to do what they wanted. They didn't want to listen, although they pretended to. You are a lifeguard, beloved, beloved, and you got to swim away. Save those that want to be saved. There's some people who will pretend to listen because they know what you're doing. They know the good job that you do, and they'll drain you. They will drain you. But you have that spirit of discernment. We are in the last days and there are perilous times. The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And he does not come in the form of something that will make you flee. He comes in the form of friends and lovers and people that we know. And when you feel yourself being drained, when you feel yourself losing strength, swim away. Your lifeguard, your job is to protect life, but you can't protect anyone. If you lose your life, if you lose your strength, if you are drained because you're dealing with somebody that would not listen, will not listen, is going farther than they should have went knowing it's dangerous and want you to come with them. Your lifeguard, beloved, swim away. Let them go under. If you can go back and save them, maybe in their unconscious state, because they're no longer fighting you, they're no longer pulling you under, you can grab them and get them to shore and resuscitate them. But when I speak of that, it makes me think of Jude, verse 23, and others you got to save with fear, with fear. You have to be alert of what's going on around you, pulling them out of the fire. The fire is a situation that is killing and destroying and engulfing everything around you and trying to engulf you. But Yah gave us discernment, beloved. Pulling them out of the fire, out of the water, out of the danger, out of the depths of the, the certain death that's going on. Hating even the garment spotted by the flesh. What is that? All the sin, all the, the, the reasons you're in this situation. I'm going to pull you out if I can. But I'm not going to allow this situation to destroy me and let other people be destroyed in the process. Because the last days are perilous times. And you are a life guard. You are guarding life. You are a spiritual life guard. And if you have somebody who refuses to listen, but others that are, and they're calling to you, you cannot go and save the one who would not listen. Lose your life, you lose their life, and the life of the others. Swim away, beloved. Swim away. Because remember, we are in the last days. It's perilous time. When I think of Paul, he talked about even being saved from the mouth of a lion. The mouth of a lion. You have people whose mouths are so destructive that they can literally take your life. They What they say, what they do, is so threatening to your survival that you have to be saved from the mouth of a lion. But we have the indwelling of the Ruach Kakadesh, the Holy Spirit, guiding us, telling us, don't go that way, go this way, back away, come forward. You are a spiritual lifeguard, beloved. Those that are calling for help and that are listening, you help. Others, you save with fear. Be, be aware. This person right here has the mouth of the lion. Save them with fear. 
pulling them out of that fire, out of the depths, out of the dangers, out of the threat of death, hating even the garment spotted by the flesh, yeah? Because they will take you under. But we are blessed and highly favored, beloved. There is one, I know these words are piercing to you because we spoke about it. Yah did not put us here to die for people who still kill, rob, and destroy. Steal your peace of mind. Kill your ability to live life and live it more abundantly. Rob you of the ability to not only save them, but may rob you of your own life and destroy everything you're doing. You're a lifeguard, beloved, a spiritual lifeguard. You've got the eyes and the discernment to know. Because remember, 2 Timothy, starting at the third chapter, in the last days, perilous times shall come. When he's telling us this, he's telling you about these kind of people. A lot of us don't like to believe it because these same people that they're talking about, are them people in your lives. They love us at the moment selves. We see it. They're covetous. They're bolsters. They're proud. They're blasphemers. They're disobedient. They're not just parents. They're unthankful. No matter what you do, they want more. It's not a thank you. It's a more. Give me more. Okay? They do not have natural affection. You're screaming and yelling, listen to me, listen to me. And they don't care. But you are a spiritual lifeguard, beloved. Swim away. There's a whole lot of people out in that water. There's a whole lot of people. That water, when we look at the book of Revelations in chapter 17, it represents nations and people, the water. And you're that spiritual lifeguard. There's a whole lot of people listening to you and calling out to you and following the instruction. So if you got somebody that's about to drown you, that's they're on a self-destructive path, swim away. Go to those that are listening. And if you get the opportunity to save that one, you pull them out of that fire with fear. It's a word, beloved. You're a spiritual life, God. You've got to know when to back off and when to go in. It is well beloved. Shalom. I am trying to stop recording and I have to find it. So we are still going. <laughs> You're a spiritual life, bro. You have to know when to swim away. Shalom.